a feature that has been in Brizzy WordPress for a while, available for the blogging part, is also now in Brizzy Cloud, and that is the element for previous and next in the blog section. To show you quickly what I mean, here is my website, and this is a single post that I have here. When I scroll to the bottom, you're going to see we have this previous and next, and as I select next, it takes me to the next post. There you go. Let's see how this element works. I jump right back into Brizzy, into my CMS I go, and then we go to where your posts are. I have these posts here. I select all posts, five tips to develop your personal style as a designer, and I select here, edit. Inside the page, let's scroll to the bottom and then go to the elements on the left. And from the panel, simply scroll down to the bottom where you see the category for blog. And here you will see the two new ones added, breadcrumbs, and check out the video for that. And the one we are working with here, navigation. Click, hold, and drag, and I'll drop it between those two line elements. And it comes in by default, looking pretty good the way you probably would want it. But you have styling options here. But before we go into that, I just want to point out that if you are going to use this element, it is good to put it inside a global block. So all of this content that will be repeated at the bottom of all your posts, put it in a global block. With that out of the way, let's see what we have here. At the top, you have the previous and the next, and these are labels. You can change it. So if I want to say previous post, you do it the Brizzy way by simply clicking in there and typing over the text. Let's do it the same for this one as well. Once you have selected it, you have the options toolbar at the top. Let's go all the way to the left where the settings is. And we have a few here. The separator is this line here in the middle. And the 80% indicates the height it is filling off the container. If we type in there 100%, you will see it stretch all the way from the top to the bottom. And if I drag it all the way to the left, it will go to 50%. If you don't want a separator, select the value and type in zero. And you will see no more separator. Let's put it back. And let's go around for something around 80 again. And then look at the spacing. The spacing in pixels apply spacing between what we call the label and the post. And you'll see that the separator is adjusting accordingly in percentage. Let's put it down a little bit again there to 20. Mm, I'm going to put it even lower. Let's put it at 10. And then look at the advanced options that we have here. Select advanced. You can display the label the post, and an easy way to remove the separator is to uncheck it here. Because we have the two options of the label and the post, when you go to topography, you're going to see that you can individually affect them. Here is the label, and you can, again, change the size of that, change the font, change the weight, and the same you can do for the post. I think you don't want to go too extreme with this to keep it professional. The same goes for color, and note here that you have default as well as hover. Start with the label at the top, then the post, and also the separator. I think finally, the last part you probably want to check out is just the settings. You have control over the width of the entire container, and then you have the usual styling and effects. Important, once you have done that, Go and check how this will look on your tablet to make sure it also behaves well there. And you have the normal responsive controls, whether you want to disable or enable this on your tablet and mobile displays. You have control over the spacing between the label and the post, and you can change the sizing of the topography for both of these. If you have some ideas that you would like to see incorporated within Brizzy Cloud, or even if you're a Brizzy WordPress user, you can go to brizzy.io. At the very top, just go to Resources, and you will see Suggest Ideas. Select this, and this is where we collect all your, my, and everyone else's ideas and review them to see if they can be incorporated into future developments. Remember to subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one.